I remember reading the book in 2020 when it had come out. And my we had one copy of the book that went through our house. So my mom read it first and said, Rachel needs to play this part. And then my sister read it and she said, Rachel needs to play this part. Finally, I got to read it and I just absolutely fell in love with her sense of strength. And um, she was so sure of herself. And I really, really love that about her. I think it's so inspiring. But also, she gets to sing and play guitar, which is two things that I really love to do. And so getting to do that made it all the better for me to play this part. Working with Tom, who I worked with the most on this movie because we have so many scenes together, was such a joy. He's, he brings this light to set and this inherent knowledge and a sense of security in the material, in his own performance. And he's also so playful and, and truly like my goofiest friend. We just have such a nice time together. Francis is not only a wonderful director in every way, but he's also just a wonderful person. And so coming to set every day and getting to talk to him and hang out with him, the dinners we would go you know, after work, on the weekends, he's wonderful company, he's funny, and he's just such a lovely person who cares about the people around him, cares about his crew, cares about his cast, doesn't want people to feel overworked. It's really, really, really wonderful. Um, and, and we both had a, a very similar idea for what Lucy Gray was going to be in this film and bringing her to life from Suzanne Collins' wonderful depiction of her in the book. Uh, he has a very uh, a deep love of music and a passion for that side of things. So a lot of our collaboration came on what she was going to sound like vocally, musically. It's such an important part in the story, in the book and in our film. So having somebody who cares so much about the musical aspect was really, really important to me. And, and I trust him with my life and I would make every movie with him if I could.